guys, so I am back with my one mo month postpartum update. So I just filmed my makeup tutorial, so if you're like, why are you so glam? Filmed my first makeup tutorial since I've had her. So she's just, she's milk drunk right now. So I figured this is a good time to get her on video. Um, she is going to be one month old in two days. Um, she turns oh, a new week every Saturday. So I have her here calm because the m last couple of um, days have been really a lot. <laughs> She's been really, really fussy. So I wanted to show baby Bella. So if you haven't seen my labor and delivery vlog, I'll link it below. I always link my most recent videos below, but um, I introduce you to baby Bella. Her full name is Arabella. So we wanted to do an A name. So A-R-T are her initials. So her name is Arabella. And um, we call her Bella or Bella for short. So she's here sleeping. You can see, like, let's see if I can get her little face on camera. <laughs> she's so drunk. Can you see her? My baby, look how much browner she is than me. I told her mama needs to go to the beach. So this is, oh, she's wearing a little onesie. I don't know if you can see it, but, ooh, sorry. My good friend Imani gave it to me. And it says feminist on it because... She knows I'm all about girl power, so her little onesie says it. It's like an Etsy onesie, so here she is. She's asleep. She's got a lot of hair on the back, but the top, it's a little bit like daddy's receding hairline. And she's definitely brown because my husband is definitely chocolate and I'm not. I'm like kind of like tan, so she's like in between our skin tones. She's probably going to get darker. And we have our one month appointment on Monday. It's Thursday night, so on Monday I know that she's when they weigh her, she's going to be even heavier because the last one was two weeks, so she was born at 7 pounds. Our two-week appointment, she was 7 pounds, 12 ounces, so she like lost um, weight when she left the hospital that she gained it back, plus I'm at a two-week mark, which is good. And then the one month, I'm assuming she's going to be definitely over 8 pounds. She feels heavier so I'm gonna back up so you can see her so here she is little baby Bella <laughs> um, so this one month postpartum um, my everyday right now is still very inconsistent I don't have a regular schedule um, I've been reading a lot of books um, I read happiest baby on the block which is so good it was referred to me by my friend Jamie who has a um, her baby's like maybe four months old, three to four months old, so she um, is a little ahead of me. So the book was super helpful. It's got the five S's, which are like um, five ways to make sure you can calm your baby down because she's so fuzzy. Like I will say she, her personality is she's very feisty and she's kind of like, I say she's like grumpy cat, but grumpy baby. She like, she's a crier and she's very fussy. So uh, that book really helped me. Um, I usually read it like I read a chapter every single day. I don't really like reading nonfiction books. I love to read, but I read like um, fiction. So reading all these baby books kind of feels like school, but I need to read because I'm a first time mom. And it helps me so much because, you know, your friends and grandmas and all that, they'll give you advice, but I want, you know, to learn on my own and read most kind of like the new stuff. So that taught me shushing, swaddling, um, swinging or rocking, sleeping on the side. Um, there is two more S's. Sucking and there's one more. Shushing, sleep, swaddling. There's one more. I don't know. So it taught me techniques to kind of calm her down and what's normal, um, what to expect. Um, and then I read another, read another book called Baby Wise, which you might have heard of. Um, it talks about how to get sleep and how to make sh put your baby on a sleep schedule. So I read that whole book. Um, my friend Crystal recommended it. She has four kids and she trained all of them to sleep by the time they were between six and ten weeks old to sleep a full night. So I really want to like see if I can get her to do that um, because right now it's like my nights and days are so inconsistent. She was usually she's up all night. But the last couple of days, she was up all day crying. So she seems like she switched. Um, like her circadian rhythms, the night and day has switched. So she's up more during the day now 
in the last couple of nights she's been sleeping more but I still feed her every two to three hours and she wakes up like to um, at night to she just naturally cries because she wants to be fed or change so I don't have a regular schedule now and according to the book you really can't sleep train them until after four weeks old so I'm hoping in the next week we can start doing that um, my life has just been pretty much been staying at home eat like just feeding her changing her and trying to get sleep where I can uh, ooh, see this do you see what happened she has a, a, a huge startle reflex where her hands pop up and she wakes herself up that way so we try to swallow her but her arms are so strong that she breaks out of like a lot of swallows so I've been trying a lot of different ones ones that are like velcro pre-made the the muslin blankets and those kind of swallows they don't work so the velcro ones kind of work but she's getting bigger and stronger so now we're moving on to swaddles where it, it contains your arm um but it's still fitted and snug but it lets your arms kind of be out a little bit because she likes to suck on her hands and um put her one arm is always usually up so um my goal is to hopefully try to start um sleep training her but yeah no regular schedule yet i'm still on maternity leave i own in my own business so i kind of took off from teaching classes and i have i've been kind of blogging and uploading youtube videos i have had on reserve so um i just filmed this new material so i filmed the how to do your match foundation video just now but i've been trying to just like live like just get to sleep where i can because my days are still super not con not consistent my mom and dad were here for the first two weeks then they left for a week and now my mom's back so she got back last night so we had a week where it was just me and my husband um and now that she's back it'll, it's helpful because i'll be able to get more done and um but yeah i'm still breastfeeding exclusively i will start to pump i think this weekend i'm gonna start pumping i really i've been like trying to follow like the recent lactation like you know guidelines for when to start breastfeeding and bottle feeding i want to breastfeed exclusively as long as possible <laughs> look at her hair see she's very handsy but um i know like it'll help to have my husband maybe do a bottle at night to give me a rest and then if when i do go back to work so my work schedule is really flexible in that i don't have to work a nine to five but i will have to be out and about some days and like feeding her every two to three hours i can't leave the house more than two to three hours so I'm going to start pumping, but I only want to give her bottles when I'm not here. I want her to do it. <laughs> do you see how she hit me in the face? Yes, girl. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my plan is to start pumping. We have um, our one month pictures coming up. Um, we're taking professional pictures this weekend to do her one month. And that's going to be our announcement cards. So my plan is to um, send those out to friends and family and I'll obviously put a picture of that on um, social media when I get it. So I'm a little behind on my videos. Um, by the time this is uploaded, she'll be like probably six weeks because I'm st I had to get through all of my pregnancy videos and then I finally uploaded my labor and delivery vlog. So we're a little behind but we're catching up. And like I said, I'm just trying to survive. It's been ups and downs. I've never cried so much in like, like in the last year that I have in the last um, four weeks of having her. Um, stress, she cries a lot, combined with no sleep, combined with hormones. So I'm still um, recovering. Um, I get, like I have spotting still from bleeding from a vaginal delivery. So I'm still using the mesh underwear from the hospital. Like it's so awesome. Like I still have all those supplies. But it's just spotting. I still have cramps down there and my stitches are still in. And I'm getting, in terms of pain though, it's not bad. Um, I still get stomach cramps. My boobs still hurt a little bit. But not nearly as bad as they were when I was engorged at week one. So I'm going to give myself the full six weeks to recover before I start exercising again. Um, but breastfeeding definitely helps um, lose weight. Like I pretty much lost all the pregnancy weight. Um, I want to lose a little bit more weight though because when I started my pregnancy I was 20 pounds heavier than I wanted to be when um, I was actually pregnant over the summer for the first time before I had the miscarriage. So I want to get down to like my summer weight, my summer 2017 weight. Um, that's where I was at a good point but I was 20 pounds heavier when I got pregnant because I was depressed after my miscarriage 
and I gained weight. And I was like so healthy during the summer that when I kind of got depressed and I stopped eating healthy, I gained a lot. So I lost the pregnancy weight, but I want to lose a little bit more, but I'm going to not push myself. Um, so we'll see how my six week postpartum goes with my OBGYN to see how I'm recovering and then I'll get the clearance hopefully to do all that. But I feel um, pretty decent. Um, my husband has, he has a really good um, paternity leave, like he was able to take two weeks off his corporate job, go back to work for him a week, then he, this week he was off because he took another week because they can take paternity weeks in one week intervals. And um, it was helpful because my mom and dad weren't here, so it was just us two. But he still works a lot. So now that my mom's back, he's pretty much like working his like entrepreneurial job. So um, I'm like, I don't really get to leave the house. I am going to go to a business meeting tomorrow for the first time. Um, we have a potential movie that wants to film at our makeup studio. So I'm going to go to that for like a quick hour. But I'm like I said, I'm not pumping yet, so I can't leave the house more than two to three hours at a time. I think I've only been out of the house like maybe three or four times in this whole month. Um, those were doctor's appointments. One was to, to, we went out to eat, we brought her with us, and one, there was, I went on two walks, but not a lot, so I'm kind of getting a little stir crazy. But my girlfriend with the four month year old is having a girls night tomorrow night too, so I told her I would come to dinner. I would probably pump, I would probably feed her right before and then go to dinner and then come back. Um, she's got hiccups. Can you see? She's, do you see her? Hiccup. Yeah, see? She has really bad hiccups, but those are normal. And they say that um, it's just like as her diaphragm it matures, it will get better. But she gets hiccups every single day, it seems like. And I had major hiccups when she was in the womb. Like, I could feel her hiccups through my belly. Like, so the fact that she has hiccups as a baby outside is not surprising. Um, what else? She's getting heavy, like my arm is getting tired. Um, so we're pretty much recovering. Um, every single day I try to, you know, it's crazy because I try to, um, keep myself looking cute, but usually it's like, as long as I can wash and moisturize and do my skincare routine, I don't wear makeup, but I do change my outfits and it's usually a nursing top and pants of some sort but I'm still wearing my like maternity leggings and stuff just because they're comfy and my like extra large sweatpants because they're baggy so right now I have a nursing tank on along with maternity leggings like capris so like that's how I feel normal like I have to like do my skincare and like um hygiene routine because I don't want to be like not washing up for days in a row which is really easy to do when you have a newborn um so like nursing tops have been so helpful because you can just unsnap it and my boobs are like a lot bigger now so I don't fit in my regular bras um, and I have to use nursing pads because my boobs leak like crazy. Um, I also wear, and I think I see it here, I've been trying to wear this um, postpartum belt like for belly banding. Um, my stomach has gotten up, down to probably as small as it will have but they say for the first six weeks you can wear this belt and that's when you have this um, hormone called relaxin which is will which is um, what will have your stomach and your pelvis and your hips kind of go down for if you wear a belly binding um, garment they say the first six weeks is the best time because of that relaxin in your system but I don't know if that's really scientific I don't really think it's proof but I feel like wearing the garment especially in the first two weeks made my belly swelling go down really fast so I'll do a belly shot um, later when I put her down. I'm going to change her. And um, yeah, her umbilical cord fall, fell off at like two weeks. So we've been giving her baths. She hates them. Um, she goes through a lot of clothes because she spits up a lot. Like at least I would say every other day she'll do like a throw up on me. And then I'll have to change too. Um, she's still wearing newborn clothing and newborn diapers. Um, my friends have been so generous, they've been giving us a lot of newborn clothes because I didn't realize that she would be wearing newborn stuff and I had very limited newborn stuff so um, they gave us some stuff because she's like, she's getting heavier but she's still kind of like thin because she's not a super chubby baby. So, yeah, what are you looking at girl? <laughs> so this is Bella and Mommy at one month. Yeah, look at my little brown baby. 
mama needs a tan <laughs> every time i look around like i wish i was like at the beach but yeah um i'll have a recap of all of the symptoms and stuff on my blog but i will do a belly shot as soon as i put her down so if you guys have any tips um about sleep training um trying to do like if you've done baby wise let me know i'm about to embark on that any tips about pumping i waited to start pumping as long as i could because um they um they say like when i was having issues engorgement there was the the um my lactation specialist told me the pumping would make them worse and they recommend don't do bottle feeding until four to eight weeks if you can help it so it's been four weeks so i'm going to start to pump i'm only going to give her bottles though when i'm not here even though everybody wants me to do bottles because they want to be able to feed her like my the grandmas and the grandpa and my husband they want to feed her but i just want to make sure she's established in her breastfeeding routine before i do that but she lashes on really easily so the hardest part with her feeding her is that she falls asleep or she'll throw up um those are my two obstacles which isn't bad at all look at these hiccups do you see them so still kind of getting into the routine of having her sleep but we're really gonna try so that is it. I'm just blabbing. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey, Bella. Hey, Bella. Look at her. Okay. Let me see. Ooh. Let me see. Uh oh, I shall. Let's see if they can get you on the screen. Here she is. Here's my baby. <laughs> she looks like she doesn't like this position. I don't want to get makeup on her. <laughs> so, anywho. I guess I'll check when and do, I was planning not doing weekly updates because I feel like I did weekly pregnancy updates and that was a lot. Um, so I probably will do one month, two month, three month. Um, if you guys want to see more regular than that, let me know. I'll still do like relevant postpartum videos that I think will be helpful, like what's in my diaper bag I think I'm going to do. Um, that's all I have. Those are the only <laughs> ideas I have though. So. If you have recommendations on video ideas, let me know though. So let me go ahead and change her and then I'll do a belly shot and I'll be right back. So I wanted to give um, a quick interruption of this video to say thank you to one of my subscribers for an amazing care package for the baby. Um, her name is Pookie. That's not her real name, but she knows who she is. She's a regular commenter and supporter and I really appreciate it. So I'm going to show you what she got me. So she has her first doll, yay, and it's brown like hers. I love the, how she's nerdy with glasses because if anything, I want my daughter to be academic. One of my goals in life, we'll see. That's just because that's how I was. I was really into school. Got some washcloths. Thank you. I noticed when I give baby girl a bath, I've only given her two baths so far, but like I go through like four washcloths and one bath because I'm just a, a mess. A teether toy, which won't have to deal with that for a couple months, but we. I'm definitely gonna put this little bag in my diaper bag. I love anything that has to do with organization. We have some Huggies Little Summers. Mommy loves the water, so baby hopefully will too. We have a little um, book, another little brown character, which I love, 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 love. She got me these little sweatbands to wear during labor and delivery, which I got this after I delivered, but thank you so much because that makes so much sense. And then we have our outfit. So look, this is when she gets a little bit bigger. What size is this? six to nine months so I would I, I'm definitely gonna put these aside but look how cute and then look at this little matching cat I love this so pretty then we have epic like dad dad will like this shirt and then some more big girl stuff which this is great because I don't have anything in like toddler sizing this is 2t first 2t and it's really cute it's pajamas I think. I don't know if this is pajamas or regular. It might be pajamas because look at the bottom. So pretty. I love this kind of pink. This is my favorite. My favorite tones of pink. Then we have more cute little pajamas with cupcakes. These will definitely get used 18 months. So this will be next year or a year and a half. Then she sent this like nice little it's a gift set with an uh, overall bodysuit, mittens, bib, and hat. Little shoes! We love little shoes. 
you know, you have to have all the different colors. I have a gold pair of shoes. Now we have silver. Belly button binder. Um, her belly button umbilical cord came off, so I'm not really sure what you do with this. Is this so like they have an any still? Let me know if you guys know. And then she got some olive oil um, hair conditioner. I'm definitely going to use this. I'm all about deep conditioning my hair because it's colored and needs moisture. And she got me a card. So let me read my card. A new little one has stepped into your life. Oh, she gave me, oh, she gave me a name idea, but we already came up with a name. Oh, and her daughter wrote a note too. That is so sweet. Oh, and she has a picture. Eyebrows on fleek girl. That is so nice. Thank you so much, Pookie. I really appreciate it. Okay, so here's the belly band I've been using. I got this off Amazon. I actually bought another one too because this one has a rip in it. But I like this one better than the one I got from um, the second one I got from Amazon. So this is the one I featured in my postpartum video. But you can see it's starting to get a little bit worn. So I try to wear it every single day. The last couple of days I've been slacking. But I wore it really consistently the first two weeks. Probably the first, yeah, two weeks. So I'm going to take this off. I wear it over a shirt because I don't want to get like skin irritation. I did have like like a rash the first week I wore this even over a shirt. But now I'm I'm good. So this is a nursing tank. And I actually um, got this after, um, I forget what her name is, um, Braun Beauty recommended it. So these are maternity leggings. So you can see I still have a little bit of pooch. These are my hospital underwear. So it's definitely softer than it was before, but I've always had a little bit of a pooch. So, this is what it looks like one month postpartum. I need not show you those underwears. <laughs> so, yeah. Still have my Linnea Negra too. So that is it. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, have a great night. Ciao, Bellas.